Lord, we bow. Lord, we Let's rise up on our feet inside and outside. I want us to know that God is going to visit us in a remarkable way tonight. There is something about the sacrifice of praise and worship when you commit yourself. When you commit yourself to praise his holy name and to worship. Hallelujah. Something happens in your life. Now let me tell you something. Jesus is in this place through the ministry of all the mighty vessels. You may not understand. It's like a spiritual alignment in the heavens. And through the praise and the prayer and the worship, there is an alignment. Hallelujah. It says, now when the day of Pentecost was fully come, there is, there is a synchrony when spiritual things align with this realm. It produces a reaction. And all the while, I kept seeing how that this alignment, because you see, if you must receive from God, everything must be done according to pattern. There is a spiritual pattern. Oh, come, oh, come, me, man. And ransom captive is right. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. And ransom captive is right. Hallelujah. 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 something the presence and the power of God is able to touch change transform you she brand to post spirit of the living God we submit to your authority you are able to change Give us an experience.
Hallelujah. Please pray. We are praying. name most high most high I lift you up most high yeah. I call you Lord most high I lift you up most high most high, most high, most high, the Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, I truly hail you, most high. You're the Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, I hail you, most high, Elohim Madonna. Madonna, 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 Father, tonight, as a people that you have chosen, we submit to your authority and we declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that everything that does not carry your image must leave tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Would you open up the gate? Open up the door. Would you open up the gate? Open up the door. Would you open up the gate? Open up the door. Would you open up the gate? Open up the gate. Open up the door. Spirit of the living God, there are sick people in this place. There are families tied down. There are people who have come from all over this nation. They have not come to see a man. They have not come to see man. In the glory I will stand. I will stand and lift my hand. It's in your glory I'll receive Every miracle You have for me 
it's in your glory we will stand we will stand and lift our hands it's in this glory we will receive every miracle you have for us once again i welcome everyone people have traveled all across this nation to be here let me tell you something you will never 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 go back the same i give you this as a guarantee tonight you will never i had so many encounters while i prepared for this meeting i had so many encounters and the lord told me four things that he would be doing tonight hallelujah the first thing that the lord told me is that he will be taking men to new planes of grace in the spirit don't stop mike flow please don't stop don't stop there is an anointing upon me you should know that he says i will reveal my dark sayings upon the harp i'm prophesying hallelujah that's the first thing that the lord is going to be doing tonight taking men to levels of grace he says and we beheld him and he was full of grace and truth something will happen to you tonight oh what was not a possibility in your life brothers and sisters it's not by power hear me it's not by might there is an encounter with the anointing of the holy spirit there is an encounter with the presence of the mighty one. It says we have not taught you cunningly devised fables. There is a reality of the spirit that when you touch, it will translate into a life in this earth that men will call you a God. The Bible says in Psalms 82 from verse 5, it says they know not, neither do they understand. And so they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course. Verse 6 says, have I not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high? It says, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes. There is a reality of the spirit that you will touch this morning. Hallelujah. And that reality will do something to you. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul. Ministries will change tonight. Graces will come upon you. Brothers and sisters, do not trivialize what you are about to receive. A time must come in your life. You will touch a reality beyond you. You cannot take yourself higher by yourself. Hear me. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, listen. The Bible says, Saul was an ordinary man, the son of Kish. And he left to go and look for the donkey of his father. But when he encountered an anointing, he said, as you go, you will find a band of prophets. That atmosphere will affect the programming of your spirit. And you will begin to communicate. They saw him and said, is Saul also one of the prophets? Because there is something about a spiritual atmosphere. It is able to do something to your spirit and open you up to certain realities. Listen, if it is not there, it is not there. It's as simple as that. So that's the first thing the Lord is going to be doing. There are people who came from different places. There are probably hundreds of ministries represented here. Pastors with your churches and you are crying. Lord, this is, this. there has to be more. There are many people crying and saying, Lord, I'm tired of struggling. Oh, there is a fountain of true grace. Let me tell you. 
when you touch that fountain, your life will bear witness. It will become a testament. Hallelujah. Number two is that the Lord is going to curse the spirit of infirmity. I got so many text messages while preparing. There are people here who discharge their loved ones from hospitals and drag them all scattered around there are people with death sentences right now let me tell you we have not come to play we owe god and we owe you every seriousness it takes because we realize that there are people if the power of god does not touch them tonight they are going to die it was a step of faith from different families And who is like him the lion and the lamb is seated on the throne oh he's the mighty one this is our confidence mountains bow down and every ocean roll to the Lord of all that's the God we are talking about. He's a mighty God. No man voted him into power. Nothing makes him to scratch his head from his throne, wondering what to do with your life. Hallelujah. We have come to call the devil a liar. Listen to me. No matter how long this infirmity has lingered in your body, it must bow tonight. Hallelujah. Oh yes, it must bow. For 18 years, that daughter of Abraham kept moving bound and sick but in less than five minutes it doesn't take time it takes the invasion of God's glory hallelujah the third thing that the Lord is going to be doing my phone please the third thing that the Lord is going to be doing is that the Lord is going to be ending the reign of evil and witchcraft over families take seriously what i'm saying whether you believe it or not is irrelevant the bible says why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing can i tell you brothers and sisters there are families and destinies tied down here and you have come upon this mountain and you're crying and saying lord visit me i have good news for you the mighty one will arise like a warrior tonight he will arise while the prayer session was going on the people leading the prayer were emphasizing that the judgment of God is coming upon the evil people if you have a problem with God judging people, evil people then it means you have a fraternity with them let me tell you it takes the ability of the spirit to dislodge the hand of evil are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says, although everything has been put under his feet, but as it is now, we do not yet see all things. But we see Jesus. So Psalm 63, Psalm 66 verse 3 says, How awe-inspiring are your ways? He said, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. It takes an ability of the Spirit to compel obedience. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The fourth thing the Lord is going to be doing tonight is he's going to be breaking limits. This is what we call breakthrough. When that which has been limiting you gives way, all of a sudden you will rise to a new horizon. There must be a testament. He said, thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Thou shalt increase my greatness. He said, Jabez was more honorable than his brethren but that was not his present situation his mother named him according to her pain and a time came in the life of Jabez when he cried oh that thou wouldest bless me this is not the end of me and the Bible says God heard his prayer tonight will be that Jacob encounter for someone and you will hold on to the Lord 
and something will happen to you. His name was changed and the Bible says the sun arose and they called the place Peniel. That place of encounter. Hallelujah. Let me tell you two things before I begin to minister. Can you sit down? Let's, let's sit down for a minute or two. Listen to me, please, brothers and sisters. I want to share with you something. Did you know, listen. I was thinking to myself while I prepared and I just fellowship with the Spirit of God. And um, I told myself something and as I speak the words that I speak are very prophetic tonight because God is going to be oh I didn't tell you one other thing that the Lord told me is clarity and direction oh yes because that's what a lot of people how could I miss it please let me have my phone where is my phone protocol hallelujah please let me have it I wrote it there clarity and direction the Bible says, you shall hear a voice. There are many of us, he's missing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Clarity and direction. There are ministries that are where they are because they just need one word from the Lord. He says, and thou shalt hear a voice from behind. One of the most frustrating things that can happen to a man is that you lack spiritual direction on where to go. You will guess too much in your life and it will look like God did not call you. But tonight, may our maker speak. And I pray that through these words, we will hear the voice of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I began to think to myself, there are many people who want fame. Listen to me. There are many people who want anointing. There are many people who want crowds like this. There are many people who want recognition and they want honor. Hallelujah. And then we try to maneuver all of the ways and the principles that we can maneuver. All of the principles that we try to learn. So that we can attract people, attract resources, attract everything. But I want to share with you one big secret. The Lord taught me this secret in 2005. And it's a very simple secret that can change your life. If you will forget about everything else and seek the Lord truly. Listen, not everything in the kingdom is a gift. I've said this again and again. Not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are rewards. If everything is a gift, what then is the reward of obedience? Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are dimensions in the spirit, brothers and sisters. There is a level of rest that is not a gift. He said, come unto me all ye that are heavy laden and I will give you. This one is a gift. But he said, there remaineth a rest for the people of God. Although they are the people of God, there are certain dimensions that it will take your partnership and your cooperation with the Spirit. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, if we stop chasing money and power and all of these things and focus in His presence, the anointing that He will put upon your life is His reward for your persistence in the Spirit. And brothers and sisters, when something that is divine comes upon your life, the nations will look for you. God is already speaking to people right now. There are many people, we like being famous. We like being the ones on stage. We want to be the happening people. But let me tell you, the greatest publicity of a believer is to remain in the secret place. That's how you announce yourself. He has become my passion, my obsession. I repented from ministry years ago. Years ago. And I became an ardent seeker of his presence. 
I was seeing miracles, signs and wonders in very humbling proportions. But the day he appeared to me, I knew that nothing else would happen. Is God speaking to someone? The presence of God is greater than anything. That's what you really need. You don't know that that is it, but I'm telling you that's it. When you find the presence of God, you have found the place of the anointing. You have found the place of true grace. You have found the place of lifting. You have found a key out of your way. Out of the door of being ignored. They may criticize you, but never to ignore you. Because his glory is upon your life. He says, Gentiles, they won't come to you because they like you. They will come to your light. And then at a point, their kings will come to your ever-increasing brightness. God is speaking to us tonight. My priority has been to turn people to focus entirely on God and everything that is Him. Not just His power. Not just His might. Listen to me. You can receive a miracle. A miracle does not transform people. They saw the dead raised to life. But when Jesus rose, the Bible says some doubted. Oh, but the presence of God. You can fake power, but not his presence. Hallelujah. Are you willing to stay enough until there is a handwriting of his majesty upon your life? When he writes upon your life, you become a wonder to the nations. Distant shores and the islands will see your life. No matter how you are, it doesn't matter what your limitations are. Brothers and sisters, when the hand of God comes upon your life, the nation must listen to you. God wants to take us farther than we can ever imagine. There are ministries here. What you have seen is only a step out of the cave compared to the dimensions that God wants to take you. That's why I get very afraid when people get distracted. And let me tell you, crowds can be deceitful. <laughs> the applauds of men can be... We are human beings. So our, our natural tendency is to enjoy and receive the applauds of men. And there's nothing wrong with that except for the fact that the greatest limitation to your success is not failure is the last one you had it has a way of stopping you from entering great dimensions the disciples came rejoicing they said even the demons jesus said hold on this is not the time to rejoice there is more did you know that as you're seated there there is more than god can do if only you pay attention to spiritual things. I'm not just talking of revelation. The quest for Rema can become an idol. The quest for ministry can become an idol. Reading your Bible religiously can become an idol. Your gift can become an idol. Your anointing can become an idol. Anything that is not him is an idol. Even if it is close to him. You're worshipping the four living creatures because they are close to Jesus does not make you a true worshipper. Your worshipping of angels does not make you a worshipper. Lucifer tried it. He said, I am so close. I am the custodian of the revelations of the kingdom. And I will exalt myself above the stars of God. God would have said, it's alright. Since you are close to me, I can check balance any excesses. But he was judged. If you want to see the power and the glory of God in your life, the first thing is to seek his face. Psalm 63 says, Oh Lord, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul longs after you. It says to see your power and your glory as I have seen in the sanctuary. While I was preparing for this meeting, all I was saying is, Lord, don't let the uploads of men destroy me too young for the vanity because I have learned in the little time serving the Lord that men are dangerous they can clap for you today and say Hosanna blessed is he that comes and they can stab you and destroy you he says search my heart and try my thoughts 
And if you find any wicked way in me, lead me to the way everlasting. He has become my obsession. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of my sin. Take over, Jehovah. I have touched the end of my sin. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of my sin. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have touched the end of myself. So take over, take over, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, just over, I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have touched the end of my life. Listen, when you stay in the presence of God, you will find something that is tangible. The gift of the Spirit and His anointing upon your life comes to honor your consistency in the Spirit. And brothers and sisters, when it comes upon your life, then you have a message to the nations. There are many people running helter-skelter. I don't know why God is speaking specifically to many of us. I know there are people scattered around. Some of you may have watched the gifts and the great men and women of God that God used here. But you see, behind every glory is a testament of sacrifice in the Spirit. How much do you love him? Do you love him beyond miracles? Do you love him beyond signs and wonders? I know you desire breakthrough. But the Bible says they draw to me with their hearts. Their hands, but their hearts are far. Their lips, but their hearts are far away. Tonight I'm challenging your passion for spiritual things. If your primary purpose of coming here is just to get a miracle, you will get one. God is too merciful. He cannot deny himself. But the trouble is, you need to rise from one dimension of grace to another. The goal of this meeting is not just to have a great man of God minister to people, but that we will be drawn to tap from a true fountain of spiritual realities so that we become these ambassadors, this envoys of his presence. Hallelujah. I will praise the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. I will worship Him and give a praise to Him alone. He who was and is and is to come, I will sing before His throne forever. Hallelujah. Everyone lift your hands and say after me in the name of Jesus. I make a commitment to love God and to serve him with my entire life. I make a commitment beyond money, beyond fame, beyond power, beyond recognition. I take God seriously. I take his presence seriously. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land. Yeah. I hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land for all. Is you yes all I want is you we hunger and thirst for you we hunger and thirst for you 
in a dry and weary land we hunger and thirst for you in a dry and weary land for all we want is you just the voices sing all we want all we want is you we hunger and thirst for you we hunger and thirst for you a dry and weary land a dry and weary land for all we want is you let that be the cry of everyone in this place say all i want forget about your ministry Forget about all of those things that deceive men into perdition. Forget about everything, the accolades that are tied, apostle, prophet. Drop all that tonight and say, Lord, I hunger for you. I hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land. I hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land. Listen, this is the secret of transgenerational relevance. You are relevant no matter what the agenda of God is. There are people who are relevant, but when the agenda of God changes, the emphasis of God for a season, they are no longer featured because they become stale. They have lacked the ability. I preached the message, the secret of sustained glory. I have seen many anointings. I have seen many men who walked and moved in power. Great ministries. But you look at them and you know that their candlestick has been shifted. Because they do not understand the spiritual technology that sustains the face of God towards a man. It's not about us being great. It's not just about being anointed. It's about being anointed. Addicted. And you say, Lord, if it means for the ministry to go, let it go. Pastor Ike said something that touched me very dearly. He acknowledged his wife, but in her presence, he did show that before she came, there was a faithful person. There are many of us that have a lot of idols in our lives. And some of these idols are not necessarily things like immorality and the rest our search for anointing i got a lot of text messages from different people man of god i have come to drink double portion or whatever of your anointing and i say this is exactly what we're saying brothers and sisters when you want the anointing you must seek the custodian of that anointing hallelujah i will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart yes I will lay down my ministry and the thrones I have made great man Apostle Joshua Selman and all that has taken my heart sing lord i will bow lord i will bow to you to no other god but you lord oh this is how it works in the spirit he is king and king alone lord i will worship Nothing hands have made. Nothing hands have made. But you, Lord. Can you sing it from the depths of your heart? Lay down your idols tonight. I will lay down my idols. And thrones I have made. And all that has taken my heart. Let's sing that part again. I'll lay down my idols. Come on. Lord, I will lay down my idols. The thrones I have made. And all that I've taken. 
my heart. One more time. I will lay down my idols. Come on. Lord, I will lay down my idols. Wrongs I have made. And all that I stay in my heart. Just the voices. I will lay down my idols. Lord, I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that I stay in my heart. Whenever the Lord comes to a man, he does not add to what you have. He looks at what you have and is finding himself there. If he does not find himself, that building must be crushed into pieces. No matter how many years it took to build that Babel, when God builds, he leaves his signature upon that building as a sign that he supervised consistency. And when God looks at your life, it doesn't matter how many years you've been doing ministry. It doesn't matter how great a leader you are. It doesn't matter when he looks and he does not find his charisma. That ministry must die. Isaiah in chapter 1 began to prophesy. He was a true prophet. Began to speak and communicate spiritual things. But in chapter 6, the Bible says, In the year that King Uzziah died, what must die tonight so that you will see higher? It says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I, Isaiah, I saw the Lord. And when I saw him, he was high and lifted up. And I did not know that this was the one I had been representing. It's possible to represent a God you know nothing about. And when Isaiah looked at him and he saw the extent of his royalty, you're my treasure, my priority. Who can compare with you? For great is the measure of your royalty. No morning star, you truly are everything. That's my testimony. I love him more than anything. No matter what stands in his way, it will go. Oh, yes. I can't be a fool. I've read about revivals and how great men rose up and went down. MOG, God is speaking to you. You are there scattered in the congregation, hoping to get something new and take back to your members. The only new thing is that your heart, my heart, is yours my mind is yours my will is yours you're the king of my life you're the king of my life we're going to rise up and I will pray shortly but I need you to know that it is all about your passion to seek his face. This is the secret of true spiritual power. This is the true revelation of relevance. It's a realm where you truly rest. You enter the Sabbath when you seek his face. You leave the realm of trial and error. You leave the realm of trying to seek approval from men. You get into the Sabbath of your destiny. For when you find him, you have found life. When you find him, you have found a song. When you find him, you have found everything. It all belongs to you. Oh, oh, oh. it all belongs to you. It all belongs
the talents, the gifts, the grace. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Let's sing it two more times and then we'll rise up and pray. rise up Mark chapter 1 Mark chapter 1 verse 32 and in the evening when the sun did set they brought unto him all that were diseased and those who were possessed with demons and all the city was gathered together at the door and he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many demons and permitted not the demons to speak because they knew him. Acts chapter 10 from verse 38 says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible says he went about doing good. Doing good. Bringing breakthroughs to lives. Causing men to experience the reality of God's life. Tonight you will find a consolation for your Christian experience. God is not a self-centered and wicked king. It is true that you serve him anyway, but he can take the pain away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And tonight my father will visit this place. There will be a convocation of the spirit. Mm, I know this. I know this. He left a witness. Lives will be changed. Burdens and yokes will be broken. There is power in the name of Jesus. Rise up on your feet, everybody. Ah. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power and it's in the name of Jesus to break every chain, break every chain, break every, to break every chain. Sing it, there's power in the name of Jesus. There is power. Of Jesus, La Cata Prade Banana Bosho Prosu Banana. There is power. Every chain, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Visit me tonight. Go ahead and pray. Shaba la barada bosh, rakata bata bata dada bakoposh. Lord, the time has come. Visit me. Nembratos kolebari katabariada.
Go ahead, pray. Visit me tonight. Goodness, I sense the anointing of the Spirit in this place. Father, in a mighty way, in a mighty way, change lives, change destinies. Let there be an unforgettable encounter. Let sick bodies be healed. Let blind eyes open. Let deaf ears be unstopped. Let the yoke of darkness over your people. Let that dagon that oppresses people. Come on, pray and say, Lord, visit me. wherever you are inside and outside something will happen to you hallelujah listen every time the presence of God shows up listen to me every time every time the presence of God shows up he goes to the root of your situation. God is not a foolish person. While you come to him for headache, the problem may be typhoid. And he goes straight to the point. And brothers and sisters were stepping straight into the business of the night. And were trusting God. Mm. Oh goodness. Now I see these angels. I don't see this angel all the time. His name is Zion's help. Listen, listen. I think in my whole life I've seen this angel only about three or four times. And every time he comes, there is massive breakthrough. I see the angels of the Lord in this place. I see mighty warrior angels. It's okay, it's okay. Ushers, it's okay, please. Let the people sit, doesn't Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Lift your hands, everyone. And let's worship him because he's about to change our lives. My goodness, I see mighty, mighty warrior angels. The northern army of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says, upon Mount Zion upon strings. Can someone please play strings? Keyboard is who is playing strings? That flowing sound, please just follow me. Forget about professionalism now. Just follow, follow exactly. Just do what I'm telling you to do. This is under the influence of the spirit. We have done well, we have ministered. Let us flow with the anointing. Hallelujah. There are families that are tied down by all kinds of yokes of darkness. God didn't send us to play games or make a name for ourselves. He said to comfort all day that mourn in Zion. To appoint unto them that today is your day of liberty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are going to pray. Every power that is not of God must let you and your family go tonight. Hallelujah. Father, visit your people. 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 Now hear me. At the count of three. Mm. So pakataya. I see that sword again. I see that sword. Bring them out. I see that sword of the spirit. At the count of three, hear me. Inside and outside, there will be a convocation of the power of God. And every yoke of darkness must give way right now. Every spell and every enchantment. Man te is a blotting out every handwriting. And every ordinance lift your hands at the count of three I like us to shout 
that name that is above every other name I invoke the power of the kingdom I represent and I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus that everyone and every family under any spell bring them out ushers every spell of darkness in the name that is above all names I speak with an apostolic voice from the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus that every power every witchcraft that has kept God's people down you must go now at the count of three shout that name one two get ready now three go fresh now now I command those powers I command powers inside and outside in the overflow right now right now Marco Pocotosh Embrekete Shoto Prosketa in the name of Jesus I command judgment judgment every altar every yoke outside there are angels moving outside there are angels with mighty swords outside Soto to 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 Makata pres Shopo seke Engratatata No power That ties your destiny Will remain tonight Embrekete Soto kota Mande brakata Olekete brekete Hallelujah I see the angels of the Lord moving outside All those in the overflow right to the second overflow at the back lift your hands lift your hands everybody outside in the name of jesus i want those outside to shout that name jesus and there are people i see chains chains around people at the count of three those outside the holy ghost is going to visit families there is fire that will fall outside are you ready now those outside one two three I see a pruning fork outside. I see a pruning fork outside. Lord, let no family, let no individual stand. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Sarah. Sarah. Who is Sarah? I'm hearing the name Sarah. Sarah. The power of God is still visiting people. Sarah. Who is that person? Benway State Benway State the Sarah I'm talking about is from Benway State you are from Benway State the Lord is going to set your family free hallelujah sign up sign up sign up sign up come jaleke bratus kalabash so proxy balande brehete no kozu barai who is zainab skata barada da balada bosh to the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves shom brekete barataka sekete balada bosh 
the Lord is showing me a lady in this row. The power of God is going to come upon you now. Because I see the angel of the Lord moving in this row. In the name of Jesus, I curse that which is evil. There is no hiding for the devil. There is no hiding for evil. Hallelujah. Who is Musa? Musa. Musa. I'm hearing the name Musa. Please let's say time is almost gone. It doesn't look like it's a vigil again. Musa. M-U-S-A. You are outside. You are wearing like a green, light green striped shirt. Come. Hurry up. Let's save time. Your name is Musa. Huh? Come and stand here. Look at me. Do you know me? Did I discuss anything with you? Come and stand. I'm seeing a family that brought a sick person. There is a family that brought a sick person. I don't know if they are outside because I'm seeing in the spirit. I know many families came with sick people. But then there, there is a particular family I'm seeing. The Lord is going to anoint you. Hold my hands. In strange ways, you will step into new levels. You will drink of the wine of the Spirit. In very strange ways. Never will you be little again. Empower her by the strength of heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Never, never will you be small never will you be small i activate those spiritual things in the name of the lord jesus christ let deep call on to deep let deep call on to deep let deep call on to deep in the name of jesus christ what's her name what's she? Huh? sarah from benway state look at me i'm seeing a lot of witchcraft in your family you love God, but that's you came with who? By yourself. You came alone. Father, in the name of Jesus, would you visit this family? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Out of her now. Out. Set her family free. Out. I curse that power of darkness. You must go now. Now. I see a coven on fire. This is what I see in the spirit. Oh, it must leave. It must leave. It must leave. Mountains bow down. Every ocean roll. To the Lord of Lord. Who is like him? Breakthrough. Kabodoko Subata. Breakthrough for your family. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is changing their stories. The Lord is breaking limits. That's what the Spirit of God is saying. Break. I command those limits. Be broken. Be broken from the realm of the Spirit. Limits be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be broken by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Come, my dear. Do you have an elder sister? Where is she? mic again is she married hold on don't worry let me talk to you is she married but there's no peace with her and her husband i'm seeing serious fight is that true very what is wrong did they tell you the, the husband he married lay oh. your hands on your chest out of her now out that devil of darkness she thinks the family has a problem this is this is the devil because if we if i don't pray for you this is the same thing i see happening in your home the same thing because uh, it's all right don't worry whatever it is what am i seeing i'm looking at you and i'm seeing a black stone on your chest look at me sister talk to you huh i'm seeing a black stone. sometimes when you lie down it's like you are gasping for air and you even yes i have yeah, this chest pain since i 
but you it looks like asthma but this is not asthma this is witchcraft come this i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus christ nothing will escape the anointing of the spirit no matter what is wrong with you no matter what it is the eye of the spirit the eye of the spirit must bring you out of the pants of darkness in the name of the lord jesus christ i prophesy to you no matter how far you are now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty sister look at me lay your hands you're going to be healed now look at me lay your hands in the name of the lord jesus you will feel something coming out right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands these are the hands of jesus as an ambassador i bring to you the power of the kingdom i represent out of her now out never return to her again never return stand up check her stand up my sister give her the mic breathe in and out check yourself right now breathe in and out breathe in and out look at this come on just breathe in do what you couldn't do before do what you couldn't do look she's even surprised look at this look at this oh it doesn't take time it only takes the power of god it will never return to you listen my dear let me tell you this look at me he will grant you your desire why am i seeing a ring in the spirit ah huh? look at me are you married this is one of your prayer requests here stand up let me pray for you because i'm seeing a ring in the spirit and the lord i had that scripture to appoint unto them in zion to tell them this is the set time i pray for you in the name of the lord jesus christ not only will you get married you will get married to a godly man you will marry a fool in the name of the lord jesus christ you will marry a man of the spirit and you will marry a man of vision i speak to you the lord visits your entire family tonight in the name of jesus christ musa look at me my brother is your name musa Look at me. You are Musa too. Who is Adamu? Adamu. I'm hearing the name Adamu. Adamu. I don't know if he's here or still part of the people here. Or not. Do you know anybody called Adamu? Hallelujah. I'm hearing the name Adamu. If there's someone like that, you can come. Hold my hand, sir. Let me pray for you. The Lord wants to bring breakthrough to your life and your family. You love Jesus very well. Because the Lord wants to do great things in your life. Huh? But you need to take away distraction and focus on him entirely. Hallelujah. My dear, listen to me. Touch that lady for me. Look at me, lift your hands. Because I'm hearing your prayer in my ears. And you are asking the Lord to visit you. I don't know what is it about your health and even your life. Now in the name of Jesus. Father, let there be a visitation for her. Now! That devil of darkness, you must leave. Because Jesus is Lord. Right now. Never to return again. Lift your hands. I see four ladies with her kind of case. Right now, wherever they are, those four ladies, the, I see the power of God coming on four ladies. At least four ladies right now. Right now, it's coming on four ladies. Four ladies I see in the spirit. Lord, in the name of Jesus, whoever those ladies are, right now, let the power of God touch them. Let the power of God touch them wherever they are. Wherever they are, be healed now. Abigail. There is an Abigail in this room. Abigail. The Lord is directing me. Abigail. Who is Abigail? 
there are two Abigails. Come on. Two of you are Abigail. Come and stand. Jesus is wonderful. Lord, I give you praise. Hold your hands together. Oh Lord, will you not open the floodgates for these families? Look at me. God is healing an infirmity from your body right now. Right now. Right now. God is healing an infirmity. And I'm seeing, I'm seeing like firewood being brought together so that the flames upon your life that has died will be reignited. My dear, your relationship with Jesus Christ. Look at me. You love Jesus? Please, you need to be on fire for Jesus Christ. There's no one leg in, one leg out. You understand what I'm saying, right? Does it make sense to you? So when I make an altar call, run, come and stay and flog it out with destiny tonight. Jesus loves you. Hold my hands because he wants to help you. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will visit this lady in a very great way. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. Lord, let the healing power of Jesus flow through her body right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. And I'm seeing something that looks like a load being taken off your head right now be healed now in the name of the lord jesus christ why are they here i hope everyone is here because i called them don't worry we're going to be very fast about it our time is gone i can't remember what did i talk to you yeah musa father in the name of jesus christ hold my hands truly god is going to use you god is going to use you Lord, anoint him and use him for your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Your name is Zainab. I'm seeing Zainab in front of your head. Let me talk to you. Look at me. Where's your mom? She is at home. Is she fine? Your mother is not fine. We need to pray for her because I'm seeing them taking her on admission and they're saying she's sick. Huh? We have to pray. I'm even seeing them trying to use a knife to perform surgery. But in the name that is above all names, right now and you too abdominal pain you're being healed of it right now in the name of Jesus Christ lay your hands on your stomach you will feel like fire going through your stomach right now heal in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God will use you Okay, hold my hands. You need a change of genotype. What's your genotype? That's why I'm seeing in the spirit. Because the Lord, immediately I looked at her, the Lord told me her problem is that her genotype must be changed. If not, they will tell her she will not live very long and die. You are SS. This is sickle cell. Where is she? Who is who are you here with? My brother. Where is he? Brother, come. You need a miracle. Run wherever you are. Brother, where is he? Brother, sir, please run and come. The Lord wants to touch you. Look at me. Do not say it is impossible. Not when Jesus Christ steps in. Oga, you're welcome. Jesus Christ is going to step into your family. You believe that? We have to pray for you. Huh? Do you believe Jesus can change genotypes? You believe? Huh? Because this is a family thing. If God doesn't help you people, you are all humanly speaking or medically speaking in trouble. Ah! But who is there like you? There's no one above you. I need to you to worship you. Lift your hands and sing that song. I lead to you. Both of you hold your hands. Who is there like you? Who is there like you? There's no one beside you. I lead to you. I 
Hallelujah. Let's cost this thing. You believe that? It will be cost. Mm. Jesus changed their genotypes. Please let them know miracles are real. Your, the power of God is coming upon both of you right now. In the name of Jesus, I command a change, supernatural change of that genotype. We change it in the spirit. Change it. SS turns to AA now. SS turns to AA now. SS turns to AA now. You will go to the hospital, you will confirm it. We call it done. SS turns to AA now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone outside. I know we're going to pray for everyone, but I'm still a woman outside. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I'm seeing a woman outside. Someone outside, you're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You are wearing her tie. Her tie. Not like her tie of a cloth, but like, like silk or something like that. Who is that person? Please run and come. Is it green? It's not green. It's many colors like flowers. Like flowers. I don't know if it's flowers I'm seeing. Please, who is that woman? And then it's like something black. I'm also seeing something black. Is it like a cloth, black or jacket? Come. and check yourself it's over and then the lord is going to use you lift your hands the lord wants to impart an anointing upon you look at me father use this girl for your glory in jesus name from the depths of my heart i release the healing anointing upon you right now that anointing will come on you right now right now never be the same go and begin to heal the sick in the name of jesus you will feel fire coming on both of your hands right now that's the healing power of Jesus Christ touching you and may you take that healing power to nations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ both of them please come your hunger for spiritual things will be satisfied tonight both of you lift your hands Jesus let their lives never be the same in the name of Jesus as I lay my hands upon you I plant a hunger ay, 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 ay. hold your hands together hold your hands together the power of God is moving from these two ladies and it will move across this room and there is a separation and it's on only ladies only ladies right now as I lay my hands on them it's happening across certain ladies the fire of god will just come upon you let it be done now 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 the vistas of eagles for ladies Shikai only ladies the holy spirit told me only ladies bring them out Deborah, i call you from the realm of the spirit Deborah, i call you from the realm of the spirit i call for Deborah, Deborah mantles I call them forth from the realm of the spirit. It's filling over outside. Outside. I'm seeing a cloud moving outside. The borders are catching the fire of the spirit. 
Lord, we give you praise. That, ma that madam on green, the Lord is going to begin to open your eyes. Where you are, an angel of the Lord is standing close to you right now. And I see an impartation of the spirit of revelation. Now, take it where you are. Mankata barakate Teleko shoposkaba According to the time of life, return with your baby. Now, return with your baby. Now, according to the time of life, we put an end to anything. Let my king be lifted up. Oh. Bring that lady. Bring her. For the angels who did not keep their original estate. What are you doing in this body? It's time for you to leave now. Without manifestation, don't waste our time. Out! Hold your peace and leave now. Never to return. And as you go, let there be a restoration of everything. In the name of the Christ of God. You leave now. And let this family experience breakthroughs. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you. It ends. It ends. The captivity of 17 years ends. In the name of Jesus. It ends. Bring her. Jesus, you believed and I am. The Lord will use you. But before he uses you, that devil of darkness must let you go. Therefore, I speak to you. I see you in the spirit. There is no hiding. You are not of God. And I judge you by the authority of the kingdom I represent. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. Let her go right now. fibroid fibroid i'm seeing fibroid we are going to pray we'll pray for every sick person who has come but let's just flow as the holy ghost can i talk to her madam come if you're coming out here for fruit of the womb make sure you are married properly married please we are christians hallelujah fruit of the womb how many years? Just one year. This one year. Yes, sir. But uh, it's two miscarriages. Ah, look at what I'm seeing in the spirit. But the devil is very wicked. I'm looking at this woman and I kept quiet. And then the Lord began to show me Steve. I saw an angel of the Lord bringing a child. Right? Listen to me. But then immediately it entered this realm. I just saw blood. Then I saw an angel coming with a child again. And when it entered this realm, I saw blood. How many times have you had Miska? Two times. Two times. This is what I saw in the spirit. That as the angel of the Lord brought a child, but in this realm, I saw blood and it was miscarriage. But Jesus is Lord. See, I'm not doing anything. There is absolutely nothing. This is Jesus the Christ. The one who should be exalted. Madam, you believe in the Lord. That's why you are here. According to the time of life, I speak to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will stand before the people of God with your miracle baby. And I see God cleaning your stomach so that they don't tell you there is an infection. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? In the name of Jesus, it's over right now. Thank you.
return with your miracle baby in Jesus name you too you are married fruit of the womb what did the doctors tell you they said there is fibroid there is fibroid because as I was standing I was hearing fibroid fibroid come and stand listen to me you will go to ease yourself and you will pass out this whole fibroid physically you will see it coming out you believe in miracles huh? because the solution is not operation they will operate you and then it will come back again this is what I'm saying huh? it's not about operation there is a name that is above all I'm not a medical doctor I'm not negating medicine are you getting my point I'm just ministering in the capacity drink of the wine of the spirit may you never be the same never be the same never be the same not only prayer fire but you are receiving the healing anointing is coming from your spirit the same thing is happening to you both of them Please lift your hands. There is the healing anointing that will come upon some people right now. Lift your hands. Father, as many of those people right now, right now, right now, it's going to come as fire. I see liquid fire in the spirit. Go ahead and shout Jesus once. One to go. Receive it. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. The healing anointing. Receive it now, inside and outside. Receive it now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Someone hold Shade, hold Shade so she doesn't fall. Hold her, but the healing anointing is coming on her. It's, it's, it's more of a scary, because it has always been there. It has always been there. Three of you, hold your hands. Ken, Kenya, I promise. Hold your hands. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Step into new levels, new levels of the anointing, new levels of the power of the Spirit, new dimensions in the Spirit. Hold, please place one hand on your stomach. Say in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, I believe in you. Let fibroid, Let fibroid pass out of my body now. Pass out of my body now. Now watch what happens to you. You prayed it yourself. Fibroid, you are a spirit. Benga, lift your hands. There is an angel standing close to you. Take it now. My dear, touch this lady for me. The Lord has heard your prayer. Come, come, please save time. Come. Look at me. What is wrong? Why are you crying? It's okay. Child of Jesus is here. Tonight is a night of divine solutions. Look at me. Lay your hands on your stomach. Let there be a visitation, oh God. Right now. I cause evil. It ends. I appoint it to end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear. You will return with your miracle baby in the name of Jesus Christ. Just hold my hands and look at me. The Lord is touching your stomach. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Be made whole right now in Jesus' name. You? 
Adam? Where is he? He's at home. What's he doing? Uh, he's walking. He's walking. Uh, he's preparing for his wedding. He's preparing for what? His wedding. His wedding. Yes. We have to pray so that he will not have an accident on the road. Huh? Where is where are they doing the wedding? Okay. Don't be afraid. Go. Okay. I'm not a prophet of doom. There's no room. This is this is the word. There is only light. You understand? Hold my hands. Lord, in Jesus' name. Let there be perfection right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh my dear. You are what? Abigail. Abigail. Where's your mother, my dear? She's at home. She's at home. Yeah. Let's pray for her. The Lord wants to bring miracles for her. There's someone with you came with a picture of someone. Is it that he's abroad or abroad? He's abroad. Because this is what I'm seeing. Hold on now. This is a picture abroad. Eh? She do travel there, but now she's in Abuja. She travels abroad. Who is yes, she? Yes, my auntie. Fruit of the womb. She got married. Hold on now. <laughs> Let me talk to you. I'm seeing four lines on this picture. How many years has she been married? Since 2006. I'm seeing four lines. She's had at least, as she had miscarriages. Yes, but I don't know how many times. This is four. I'm seeing one, two, three, four. Four different miscarriages. They even wanted to try. Um, anyway, that's not the issue. You believe Jesus Christ will have miracles. Lord Jesus Christ, you are mighty in our midst. Glorify your son. Right now, let the power of God touch her. Let it touch you through her. In the name of Jesus, you return with your miracle. My dear, let me pray for your mother. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be healing for her mother. And let there be healing for you in Jesus' name. Your sister, what's wrong with her? She got married since 2003 and still up to now. She no been. fruit of the womb. Where are you from? I'm from Gardner State. I won't say it here, but you see, let me speak a parable. When Jesus comes into your life, when you need the help of God, you can't mix salt water and clean water. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Huh? You can't come and mix salt water and then you want Jesus Christ to add fresh water on top. If you are for God, you must seek him completely. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. You see, when we become desperate for a change, we are humans. And I know that a lot of people will start suggesting a lot of things. Jose, is a, it's not like he's a herbalist. He used to just see. Look, let me tell you. We've shared this. You can get my teaching on the mysteries of the kingdom. Herbalists and demonic people, they work with. They manipulate spiritual laws, correct spiritual laws. But it is not a spiritual law that makes you a Christian. It is that it must be initiated and sustained by only the wisdom of the Holy Spirit. Ken, God is visiting your family. God is visiting your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Ella, the Lord is visiting your family. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord and I'm seeing them going to Kano in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is visiting your family and even you is visiting you. What is happening to you is restoration. Restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is bringing restoration. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for sick people now. So if you came with um, your sick, immediately I pray for this lady. Now is the time so that we can minister to the sick. It's amazing that this is a vigil and it's already morning. Praise God. Um, sweetheart, look at me. What's her name? Ladi. 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 In the name of Jesus, Ladi, we bring you the power of the kingdom. By the mercy of God, we command be made whole right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, return with your child. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you came here specifically for healing, any part of this country or this city, please come out right now. It's time for you to be healed. Time for you to be healed. Come and stand. Please, ushers, just line them up. God is already touching people. 
Look how many people came specifically to be healed. Hallelujah. Steve, can you come and just lead us in worship while we do that? Please don't remain. Don't worry, we are patient. This is a miracle service. We're not here to waste your time. Please be patient. No fighting, no nothing. Jesus Christ is going to step in. No matter what the situation is. Listen to me. No matter what the situation is, I'd like you to believe in Jesus. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, we Jesus, there is healing in your name. Now, some of you stood here for healing, but the Lord is going to be touching other areas of your life. But please, we are ministering specifically to sick people. We have very few minutes and we have to do a lot of things. Please make sure that you connect while you're seated. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. As Steve leads us in worship, I'd like us to connect to what God is doing because there are still at least two or three things that we have to do. Praise God. And in case you've not written your prayer request, God answers prayers in this place. Those of you crying, stop crying. Stop crying. I'm seeing a lot of people crying and it's touching me. My dear, please stop crying. Jesus will visit you. Listen, never criticize the healing ministry. You don't know the pain people are going through. No, there are families here. There are people just standing here. But I tell you the truth, they are dying. There are families that are dying. Look how many people. They all sang praise and worship. Pastor, truly, truly, the reality of God's power must, while we try to teach them to live in that reality of divine health, God is still merciful enough to help them. We cannot, are you getting my point? Lord Jesus, we thank you for the ability to heal the sick. We truly give you the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your healing power be strong. Let every infirmity in this place bow to the Lordship of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let every infirmity bow. As I lay my hands upon you, the Lord sets you free. Sister, look at me. Healed! Now, your stomach, the Lord is setting you free. So please, let's be organized while they lead worship. Those of us seated, please be praying in tongues and connecting. There are so many things we are going to do. Thank you, Jesus. Let the name of the Lord be exalted in the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Oh, Jesus, we believe. She What is wrong? This is stroke. Complete stroke. You are unable to move. Oh, the devil is wicked. What is this? Father, would you do a miracle in our daddy's body right now? I curse the spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. Let life come to your limbs in the name of Jesus Christ. Let life come to your limbs. You are going to walk right now in Jesus name you believe that look at me sir in the name of Jesus walk come 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 are you feeling strength come walk don't be afraid you will not fall in the 
the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus, for what you are doing. I give you all the praise. I give you all the place. I, I loosen all of the nerves in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that is in the name of Jesus Christ. Please exercise yourself around. You can turn back. Exercise yourself. Give Jesus praise. Careful. Careful for him. This is completely paralyzed of stroke. The devil is so wicked. So wicked. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead, Steve. Let's save time. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My dear, it's okay. Stop crying. Why are you crying? You are what? Spirit husband. The Bible says male and female, not female and spirit. Male and female. Look at me. Weep not. When Jesus steps in, there is hope. Oh, I love Jesus. Look at me. You believe Jesus will set you free? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Ready? Go ahead. Jesus! 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 Out! Out of her now. Out! I challenge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That wicked spirit. Out! 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 This lady has been going to church every Sunday. Yet this spirit has been comfortably sitting down. Her academic zero. Everything zero. You leave now never to return. Now! Never to return. For the blood speaks. I come with the rod of a higher priesthood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. For you are glorious. Sleep. And worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon. Mama be healed. I rebuke the spirit. The blood of Israel. You are the Lord. For you are glorious. For you are the Lord. has come not just to you but to your entire family this morning Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ where are you please let's save time please let's save time time is not on our side come 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 it's true. there is nothing working what is anambra that's Anambra Street. Anambra, I know, I know. What is Anambra? What do you have to do with Anambra? No, I have nothing to do. I'm from Adi. Because I'm seeing Anambra. Who is, who is there? Is there anyone from there? No, I'm seeing a lady. Oh, this is a lady. And I'm seeing Anambra. Huh? I think so. maybe you are from the state or something like that. Who? Just, I know there are many people just will come. 
Please let's save time. There is so much to do. Jesus, <coughs> let this idol that I see, I'm looking at this lady and I'm not seeing her face. I'm seeing the face of something that is as old as 127 years old. It's something that they worship in an Ambra state. This is what the Lord is showing me. And it has tied down her life. Because I'm seeing chains, but the chains are made up of snakes in the name that is above all names. Be set free now. I lay my hands upon you as an envoy of God's presence. Be free. Be free now. Let our family go. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Daddy, where are the children? to pray for you sir things will turn around in your life I want to assure you all the way from where sir from Kaduna you came from Kaduna Jesus well, don't worry you understand I know what is wrong with you this is not a word of knowledge I'm aware but I want you to know that Jesus is Lord no matter how impossible it is with men it must go you are not alone. There are many people with this same thing in this place. In the Lord Jesus is there. Hold my hands. You are risen from the dead. You are Lord. Light is shining in the darkness. Jesus. this devil right now let her go out in the name of Jesus Christ lay your hands on your stomach my dear I release the power of God I set you free now in the name of Jesus Christ daddy I'm seeing both of your hands tied down and the Lord is telling me to release you financially things are buried down is that true I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. Financially very down. And I've been battling with diabetes and hiccup. Hiccups? Hiccup. When it started, it seemed like it was trying to block my chest. How long has this been, sir? It started February. This year? Yes. You came and here? I had been hospitalized for two times on that. On this? Yes. Jesus is going to heal you right now. I mean, Oh, Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I don't know what would have done for people except for the power of the Holy Spirit. Daddy, be healed right now. Please hold my hands. May you begin to prosper by the Spirit of God. I release you and your family members. Be healed. Diabetes, be healed. I rebuke that devil of infirmity. In the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you. All right, Steve, please lead us in worship. Let's hurry up. There are so many people. Please don't worry. I mustn't. Listen, let me tell you something. I think I need to explain something. I don't have to prophesy, like mention your case. Are you getting my point? For you to know that, okay, the Lord is going to touch you. Not at all. So you don't have to push people. Everyone who are going to minister to you. Why are you crying? Come. 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 What's the problem, my dear? What's the problem? Oh, what? Kidney infection and HIV. You know that physically speaking, this is a death sentence. Kidney plus HIV. But not when Jesus, not when he steps in. Sweetheart, with men, it is impossible. But the Lord will give you brand new kidneys right now. And that devil of HIV must pack his load and live your life. See, you know, the reason why many of us never have the anointing is because we don't have the patience to help people. We just want to shine. If you truly care about people, compassion is what moves the release of the anointing. When I see people cry, it affects me. 
I remember the things that I saw in the spirit. My dear, there is a way. And Jesus is that way. Are you listening to me? I make boast to tell you that you will be healed. Absolutely. It's not trial and error. Look at look at how, how many people are crying. You just see people standing. But some people have already, it's like they've signed their death warrant. I speak to every hopeless situation in this place. In the name of Jesus, like the dry bones in Ezekiel's valley, there is hope for you tonight. In the name of Jesus, bless you, Steve. Now, brand new kidneys, HIV, never return. I cause that virus, it leaves your body right now. You will check and there will be no trace, no single trace. And I command those dead kidneys, let brand new kidneys come from heaven. already eating her legs. They now tie it. Hold my hands. I cast that spirit right now. Be gone. Mommy, please don't cry. This is an elderly woman. Help her with it. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. I cast that devil. That pain. That abdominal pain. It leaves now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it lives now. She's a worker in this house. And in the name of Jesus Christ, she's entitled to the blessings that follow kingdom service. Therefore, I set you free. And the Lord set your family free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, please. Don't cry. 
things will dry up. In Jesus' name, God bless you. If they pray for you, you can go. We don't have time to take testimonies. It's already morning. Hallelujah. We will take any testimonies next week. Thank you, Jesus. Come in the in Jesus' name. Spirit, they disturb him. Eh? Eh? What's he say? I mean, my son, let's see the person. Eh? Speechless, man. It's okay, daddy, don't worry. Ooh. Jesus will solve it in Jesus' name. Whatever it is, Jesus is about to touch the whole family. My brother, what's the issue? I have spiritual, spiritual things. Stop spiritual things. Yeah, but a spiritual thing is it's not like you are, you see, please, let me explain something. Jesus is not a magician. You have to press into God. No matter how much I pray for you now, you see, this spirit will live, but ultimately your passion and your desire for spiritual things. Are you following me now? You must be ready to truly commit your all and walk with Jesus. This is the ultimate remedy. Because you are a great man. I pray for you. Please, when I make the altar call, please don't hesitate to come out. Lord Jesus, I cast that spirit right now. He will be healed right now. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. That in the name of Jesus, the Lord touches you. Cast that spirit out. Out. She will not die. Out! That devil of stroke. Out! Are you seeing? Hold on, please. You see, hold on. Are you, are you seeing paralysis? You see that this lady is already paralyzing from her face down because it's the devil of darkness. Let her go now. I curse you by the name of the God of heaven. You must let her go. Bless you, Steve. Sorry I keep interrupting. I just want to use this and explain certain things. My dear, this whole twisting of your face will go down. This is a lovely lady. Praise God.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! Let her go. To walk around and correct the prayer requests, please. Please, this is a time to pass your prayer requests. And for those online media people, let's have it so that we can, as soon as we're done, we can pray on it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are the most. You are the most. Jehovah, Jehovah, 
praise Lord we thank you Lord we thank you Lord we thank you please let's all rise on our feet this is the last session I love this part because this is where we get to invoke the presence of God. There is, no matter how many things we see, no matter how many people we minister to, this is a representation of the hunger and the desperation of almost everyone here. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Hallelujah. I want you to know that the Lord God of heaven answers prayers in this place. This is not just some religious activity. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Ike, let me invite you to join me as we pray over this request. Now, I want you to stretch your hands, those outside, stretch your hands towards the projector. And let's just pray in tongues for two to five minutes as we speak over this request. This represents the desire of God's people. Steve, you can join me too. Go ahead, stretch your hands as we pray. Go ahead, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Rambo Kosuto Protoko Dobo Shubalada seconds 60 more seconds to begin to declare war in the spirit lift up your voice and begin to declare 60 more seconds rato go bamba li cabro do shande gele bala de gede bando lo ka ricati se gele bro do kamba ba de gele bolo bra na gala bande ya tele bolo sana bala bande gele bro ka ba de gala bande ma po tele bana gra bala de gele bolo shande gala bande sa tele bo kamba na gala bro de gele bolo sana ga you have 15 more seconds. Lift up your voice and declare it right now. Lingro ding ling ding gan dang 
I want you to declare a thunderous amen in Jesus' mighty name. Only those are the overflow. I need to hear your voice in Jesus' mighty name. Let all the people in the room lift up your voice and shout in Jesus' mighty name. Let every nation, every tribe, every tongue give a thunderous amen in Jesus' name. Wherever you are, make sure your two hands is connected to somebody. The Bible declares, Behold how beautiful, how pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. The Bible declares, For there God commands His blessing. When there is unity in the house, I need you to just squeeze our hands. Hold the hand by you. In that name that is above every other name. The name that makes demons tremble. The name that makes barren womb open. The name that makes blind eyes open. The name that makes the sick to be healed. In that name that guarantees an answer. We call on that name as a family. We call on that name as a body. We call on that name united this morning. We decree and declare every secret petition. We decree and declare every prayer request. We decree and declare every heart desire. We decree and declare by the unction and the authority vested on me by the man of God of this house. I decree and declare answers, 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 answers right now in Jesus' name. Oh my God, you are not saying amen. You are not echoing amen. amen. Let the living shout amen. amen. And so Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. We exalt your name. We lift you far above all else. For there is absolutely no God like you. We ask, oh God, that one more time prove yourself the God of the Apostle Selma the God of Isaac the God of Jacob and their father Abraham we decree and declare every secret petition is answered it's answered in Jesus mighty name and finally let every living soul shout the name of Jesus seven times to seal this great miracle can we go right now one two shout somebody shout somebody shout Somebody shout! Somebody shout! Somebody shout! When you want to shout the seventh time, I need you to jump on your feet and shout the name that's above all the names. Everybody shout! Jesus! 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 
Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 This is the best part of the meeting for me right now. What is about to happen. Because this is where many of you will see the creative power of prophecy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. Please, I'd like you to be sensitive. It's already 5.30. Can you imagine? Soon we'll be out of this place. But I'd like you to know that something is about to change in your life. Truly, truly, I believe that this is the greatest part of this meeting. Because when the word of God comes your way, it does something remarkable. Hallelujah. There's someone, you have, we don't have time, you don't have to come out now. There's someone you've been trusting the Lord. And um, in fact, I'm seeing is a lady. And you're insisting that you must marry by December. And this is a very serious thing. You've, you've implicated yourself. You've said December. But the Lord is showing me April 2015. You are one of them. My dear, you. I'm seeing a lady. God is giving you a word. So don't kill yourself for nothing and say, I must marry. If you want to marry tomorrow, the devil will bring somebody for you. But you see, you have to be careful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. And bones began to be joined to bones. When Jesus appeared to me, one of the things that he did to me was to allow the light of his glory and his presence to enter into my being. And so every time I open my mouth to prophesy, that's all I see, that light. It's like a drug. It steps into your destiny and creates the Garden of Eden. Whatever it is, please, I'd like you to believe. Please. People have changed. The power of God is already moving. Help them, please. I know that we have abused prophecy. And in the country around, many people make so much boast about understanding the prophetic. But in reality, you see, um, the creative dimension of God's word is the strongest level of the operation of the word. The ability to make something out of nothing. Many of us just know the revelatory dimension. But if anything will ever happen in your life, it will take the power, the creative power. Hallelujah. So as I pray in this few minutes, I'd like you to shout amen from the depths of your heart. And I want you to receive. You can choose to argue it and go back the same. Especially for those of us who... Um, came from far and near. People traveled all the way. Some have been here all through the week. Please. Because you must return with a testimony. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say. He is mighty to say. Forever, author of salvation, he will conquer the grave. Let's sing one more time. Savior, he can move a In the name that is above all names I prophesy to everyone who is trusting God for direction for the next level of his life be it marriage be it whatever you are at a crossroad 
and you need the voice of God. May you hear the voice of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I prophesy clarity in the name of Jesus. You don't have to bring them out. Just, just leave them. You don't have to bring them out again. We're out of time. I prophesy everyone who is already moving the wrong direction either as a result of wrong advices or wrong perceptions about the path of both spiritual and physical progress in the name of Jesus may the Lord redirect your steps now may the Lord redirect your steps now May the Lord redirect your steps now. Anyone about to leave the geography of your anointing as a result of wrong counsel or the quest for greener pastures. The Bible says there is a way that seemeth right. You must be at the geography of your grace to thrive. And Isaac sowed not everywhere in that land. In the name that is above all names. May you hear the voice of his majesty. As you sleep tonight, may you hear the voice of his majesty. I pray for every bond here who is experiencing stagnation. You are marking time and instead of you to make progress, you are not moving. By extension to every family. In the name that is above all names the lord told moses why are you crying to me tell the people to move forward i prophesy over your destiny move forward now move forward now move forward now make progress now make progress now I prophesy over those trusting God to settle down maritally. Every power of darkness tying down your marital destiny in the name of Jesus. That embargo is lifted now. By the blood of Jesus, that embargo is lifted now. Sisters, I open your marital doors now. In the name of Jesus. No more shall this proverb be used in your life. May the Lord change your story. Hallelujah. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and that oil sets you above your fellows in the name of Jesus. The anointing that distinguishes you. From today, everywhere you go, be distinguished now. Help them please. So that they don't preach. Be distinguished now. Shekete Pokoto. Be distinguished now. No more will you be common. No more will you be like the rest. The hand of God is upon you. No more will you be common. I prophesy from the depths of my heart. Let an anointing that distinguishes you rest upon you now. All those trusting God for jobs. Let me, there's nothing as joblessness. The Bible says he saw them idle. And he said, why standest ye idle? And they say, no man employ us. He told them, go to the vine. When God speaks, there must be job. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Wherever your job is. I don't care what the limiting factors are. There is a superior advantage. Because you are in Christ. Therefore, I invoke 
Manta to Sotobala by the ministry of destiny help us wherever you need to be called wherever your cv is i provoke a miracle job now 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 Hallelujah. I pray for everyone called barren in this place. Anyone called barren in this place. I declare to you according to the word of the Lord. That according to the time of life. May you return with your miracle child. May you return with your miracle child. I speak it. I establish it in the spirit. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 It says son of man what seest thou And he said four horns These are the horns That have lifted up themselves against Israel Against Jerusalem And against Judah So that no man will lift up his head He said but I have sent carpenters in the name that is above all names the lord told me he will bring breakthrough i want to prophesy it now, now whatever has limited you whatever has limited your family right now in the name that is above all names i come with the rod of a higher priesthood and i command every limitation be broken now limitations be broken now limitations I sense the anointing of the Holy Ghost limitations be broken now be broken now be broken now let the power of God break every limitation now hallelujah He told Saul, he said, as you return, you will see three men holding bread, but two of them will give it to you. Does that mean they didn't want the bread for themselves? In the name that is above all names. The favor of God that can end the struggles in a man's life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. Please believe it. It's not by power. There is a realm of ease that comes by the favor of God. Therefore, in the name that is above all names, I prophesy, receive favor. Favor. Let the Esther anointing come upon you now. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with kings. Favor with destiny help us. In the name of Jesus. Every wine presser and baker that needs to speak to the king on your behalf in the name that is above all names we provoke their ministry now. We provoke their ministry now. We provoke their ministry now. hallelujah whatever you have been trying to do and you don't you don't seem to make progress you keep going around cycles of the same thing in the name that is above all names everything you have tried and failed go and do it again this time with the anointing in the name of jesus everything you have tried to do and you failed i provoke an anointing upon your life and with this anointing go back and do it again it's a master we have toiled all night but he said nevertheless at thy word i bring the word of the lord to your life now what did not work before let it begin to work now hallelujah 
I pray for every family going through pain and suffering and limitation and bondage. Every family represented here. He said, as for me and my house, not as for me alone, as for me and my house. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, may the fire of God, may the fire of the Holy Ghost bring advancement in every family represented here. I command every family make progress, move forward, make progress, move forward, move forward. Hallelujah. I speak over everyone here and every family. Anyone marked for death. Anyone marked for death. Oh earth, I speak. Hear the word of the Lord. We forbid the earth from taking the body of anyone here. You remain immortal until your assignment is complete. You do not live by the sword. Therefore, you will not die by the sword. In the name of Jesus, you are separated from the wickedness and the harassment of terrorism. You are separated from the pestilence and the plagues that cause men to be afraid. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And for many who are students here, Mando Kasikete Pakadata. In the name of Jesus, every yoke of academic bondage in the name that is above all names, I command be free from it now. 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 From it now. Therefore, I release upon you the spirit of excellence. Receive the spirit of excellence on common speed, academic exploits in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. For every ministry, every business, everything that is dead and grounded in the name that is above all names, like the dry bones in the valley of Ezekiel. I command life to it now. I command life now. I command life now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command life now. Hallelujah. Everyone in ministry in this place. Kabo Suta I pray for you let the doors of opportunity be open up to you you were not designed to market yourself the bible said let her walk speak for her at the gates i command everything stopping your walk from speaking for you let there be an anointing that announces you in the name of jesus christ every struggle in any area of ministry we call it to end now in the name of Jesus. And anyone who is in ministry and you are confused. You really don't know where you stand. You don't know the spiritual paradigm you should be representing. In the name that is above all names. Let there be clarity. Absolute clarity. In the name of Jesus. Now lift up your hands. I want to pray for your finances. In the name that is above all names. First and foremost, I curse the spirit of greed that stops you from engaging the principles that will bring true wealth and abundance. I command the giving grace to come upon you in the name of Jesus. I curse the spirit of greed. Let it be far from your life in the name of Jesus. Grace for you to be a faithful tither. Grace for you to be a faithful giver. Grace for you to be a kingdom investor. May God give you wisdom. May God give you favor. 
may God bless the works of your hands therefore I release a supernatural anointing for you to prosper receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus God gives you wisdom God gives you ideas in the name of Jesus hallelujah everyone here who is trusting God and is saying Lord restore everyone here who had a better yesterday that is saying Lord if there was a way I can turn the hands of time I prophesy to you there is a God that can turn the hands of time and cause men to experience restoration therefore in the name that is above all names we bring back into your life every opportunity that was once lost in the name of Jesus opportunity for favor receive it opportunity for healthy connections every opportunity in your life that has been wasted by the favor and the mercy of God we call back that opportunity to return in the name of Jesus Christ we call it to return in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah I pray finally whatever has made you cry in the name that is above all names whatever has brought tears out of your eyes because you were in a state where nothing and no one could help you in the name that is above all names may my God arise for you and that everyone who has laughed at you and said where is their God in the name that is above all names that God will arise for you my God will arise for you my God will arise for you now hold on before we round up we are finishing by 6 6 on the dot I'll take 5 minutes and do something fast and we're going to have hot praise for 5 minutes we can't go without praise you seal these things that God is doing with praise hallelujah now keep standing everybody I want to make an altar call right now please hallelujah there are many people here inside and outside you've heard the word of the Lord you've experienced the power of God the touch of God the ministry of God's servants and God's vessels but you have not made a decision for Jesus Christ you may be a Christian but you've not truly made a genuine decision for Jesus Christ and then there are others you once made a decision for Jesus Christ truly but you found yourself derailing right now in the name of Jesus I want to give you an opportunity the Lord is asking you to return home this is one of the greatest miracles I know that there are many of us outside forget about your friends and whoever you came with you're saying Lord I'm coming to commit myself genuinely I'm inviting you right now as I count five one God bless you God bless you appreciate them two I know they are coming God bless you please hurry up and come it's a great thing it's a great thing three appreciate them I believe there are so many other people that the Lord is speaking to don't be afraid this is a family don't be ashamed it's time to come to Jesus genuinely genuine repentance not emotional hype to make a decision that determines the next course of your life Four, God bless them you're still coming I believe that the Holy Ghost is still speaking to some other people don't remain there five i'll begin to pray now but you can still come and join us god bless you the devil is a liar no power will stop you in case the lord is still speaking to you please find your way run to jesus it's the greatest decision you will ever make in your life hallelujah those of us here thank you so much for coming we salute your courage i want to lead you to make the greatest prayer and decision in your life after all is said and done in this life, this is all that will matter. The quality of the decision you have made today will determine your eternal destiny. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me, Lord Jesus. Please mean it from the depth of your heart. Don't recite it like a poem. Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. 
I believe you died for me. You shed your blood for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare today that I'm saved. I'm a child of God. My name is in the Lamb's book of life. I denounce sin and Satan. The power of sin is broken over my life. From today, I arise a champion. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Make me an ambassador for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for these ones. They have come before you. Spirit of the living God, I pray that you preserve them. Let their decisions be genuine. Grace for them to stand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please arise. God bless you. Thank you for this great decision. I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. Just follow the gentleman waving his hands. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Now, let me just perform two quick functions. Pastor Ike came with his CDs. How many of you were blessed by the ministry of Pastor Ike? Come on, celebrate grace. Koinonia, you know better than this. Celebrate grace. Hallelujah. He's here with his CDs. He brought as much as one, two, three, four, five, five complimentary copies for me. Please help me tell him thank you. Hallelujah. They are available. I believe that um, there are some with Jordan Bookstore and I believe that it's possible to get probably a few limited copies. Very powerful. Really very powerful. And um, let me use the opportunity to just introduce to us one more time. Aaron Dandodo and Susan Legbo, where are you? They are getting married on the 18th. Aaron, quickly. Susan. Let this be the way they clap for you during your wedding. You will reap what you sow. Where is she? You are not doing again. Hallelujah. They are wonderful, faithful people in this house. Aaron has been with us for years. And Susan is a member of the prayer band. Praise the Lord. And um, we thank God for what God is doing. Stretch your hands and pray for them. Their wedding is on the 18th. They will be tying the knot in Mina. Pray for them. Say, Lord every resource required is provided and many of you God may lead you to sow seeds into their lives go ahead, go ahead so connect with what God is doing connect with what God is doing Lord we ask that you bless them bless Aaron bless Susan, we bless your wedding most importantly we bless your marriage, may you experience the hand of God in your home in the name of Jesus, thank you so much please celebrate them one more time hallelujah Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, Pastor Yinka will be um, will be called a husband proper. <laughs> Hallelujah. We give God all the praise. A few people left the day before yesterday to grace the wedding. Um, the wedding of Aaron and Susan will be at UMCA Church behind Mr. Biggs, Tonga, at Mina State. Reception is at Honorable Justice Idris Legbo Hall, near the government house at Mina, Niger State. As many of us, Aaron has been a blessing to the body of Christ. Please, let's invest our resources and then our presence. Um, this is from the prayer department. There will be massive Holy Ghost baptism on Tuesday. For those of us who have been trusting God, Please, if you are here for adventure, you are new, and you've not been filled with the Holy Ghost with evidence of praying in fluent tongues, fluent tongues, not just talking anyhow, you need to receive a real baptism genuinely. Join the prayer band Tuesday, the 30th of September at Rema Chapel. Time is 4 p.m. Please invite your friends and loved ones. Project 10,000 is still on. Please be part of it, and the Lord will help you. Praise the Lord. You can book for counseling immediately after the service. Uh, the protocol department will be waiting here. Please, if you are coming for counseling from another state, would advise that you come at least on Sunday. Praise God. 
or at least Monday, leave early in the morning so that um, you can come and be settled. Praise the Lord. The booking ends tomorrow by 6 p.m. The free bus transport is limited immediately after the service. For those going to Shikan Congo, please wait at the projector stand outside. Take note of our official lines, both um, um, the protocol and the media lines. Please take advantage of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I also want to announce that the general workers retreat has been shifted. Please, all workers, because of the um, nature of the weekend, please and please, we have decided to shift it so that everyone can rest. Hallelujah. The various heads of department will communicate this accordingly. Okay. The audition for the worship team will be on the 1st of October. Hallelujah. So all applicants, please make sure you mark that date and prepare. You can meet your head of department immediately after the service for more information. Hallelujah. School of Ministry students, we are not having lectures today again. Please, our lectures will be tomorrow since there's no retreat again. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. prompt. 2 p.m. prompt. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please announce it to those who are coming in from Kaduna if they are not around so that they don't bother taking um, the pain to come and then not. We just want everybody to rest. So everyone you can use today and rest. There are other meetings. CGC is having its uh, convention and then there is a program that is happening in, I think, God Life today. Um, Aaron and... Um, one of the business experts, they are putting on a program. So there are many things happening at the same time. It's quite a busy weekend. And for many of us who have been preparing for this meeting, so please afterwards, take out time and rest. Those who have been fasting, it's time to eat. Praise the Lord, so that you don't die in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let me take this time to appreciate the Orions. Please, I'd like you to celebrate them. Please, Koinonia, celebrate them. It's an investment of honor. Hallelujah. I want us to celebrate the redeemed dancers. Wonderful. It was so, so lovely. Hallelujah. I'd like us to celebrate the man of God, Steve Strings. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. We love you. Love you. We truly honor you. I'd like us to celebrate the dear woman of God. Goodness, I was blown away. Please. Rosemary, please celebrate her. Thank you. Thank you so much. May the Lord honor you. Thank you for coming all the way. And I'd like us to celebrate Pastor Ike and his wonderful wife. I think she should stand here and let's see her. Pastor, you spoke so much about her. Please, ma. You know she's not. Come on now. Pastor, do it for us. Those of you who plan to be bad husbands, that's going to be the last prophecy before we leave. May God change your mindset in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Please celebrate them. May your home be like this. Every Tom and Jerry marriage, I curse it in Jesus' name. Bless you, man. Thank you so much for coming. Hallelujah. And then I'd like us to celebrate every department in this house. Wonderful people. Wonderful people. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate our online community. There are more people following online than you can imagine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. All those worshiping with us for the first time, as we round up, please, I'd like you to come out. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Make your way to the front, inside and outside. Make your way to the front right now. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Please come, those who are worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time here, aside from our invited guests. You're welcome. Don't let anyone sit down around you who is coming here for the first time. We have a prayer and a blessing for you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Pastor. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. Hallelujah. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. Your life will never be the same. Thank you for the investment of your time.
This is our vigil and we bless God for your presence. I guarantee you that you will return with such a hunger for spiritual things. May the Lord honor 